Hello and welcome back to our wonderful Bandit Lord series and we're going to attempt to explore a little bit more about what the Forbury mod actually does because there are so many different things that we can explore here. Anyway, I'm just going to, well, I was actually going to go and do a scam real fast, but no, we're not going to do that apparently. Uh, <laughs> instead, what we're going to do is we're just going to wait a little bit longer and then we're going to go into the tournament here because let's face it, It'd probably be a good idea to just knock that out while it is available. And obviously, we do have a lot of money to bet and a lot of money to win. And obviously, in the f well, in the previous episode, in the final fight in the tournament, we did have a bit of an issue with that. So hopefully, I'm going to be able to achieve victory against this fellow. There we go. Ha ha. We're not even using the tree this time. Very nice. Okay, so wait a minute. This is a Batanian scout. Should be fine. Let me just uh, be a little bit, a little bit careful, a little bit careful. Gonna go out there. There we go. All right. Just make sure that he knows that we we just murdered him very, very easily indeed. All right. Here we go. Let's get some shots. Nice. And there we go. That's actually really that made a difference. Okay. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought of myself. You know what? Surely me shooting isn't gonna make any difference whatsoever. But no. It actually helped a little bit. Maybe it maybe it actually helped a little bit. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, but yeah, seems like it did. Anyway, we do have a... Uh, okay, two-handed. Mm. This is a bit problematic. Oh, that was so close. Okay, that was real, real close. I was wholeheartedly expecting myself to, to die there. I thought, wow, okay, that was a bit too close for my liking. Okay, let me see if I can do something here. Okay, he actually hit me round the tree. Wow, that was that was very, very lucky for him. But thankfully, we did end up achieving victory. Very nice indeed. I think I'm actually pretty close to getting to tier two in terms of our clan or tier one. I'm actually not entirely sure what we are at the moment. I think we're like near tier one or something like that. So that would be really, really nice if we could do that. Anyway, larceny. Well, no, All right. No. So larceny is something that we should definitely try to do. But now here's the thing. Um, I can pick the pockets of some locals. Apparently people say that this is actually really, really nice and kind of easy. And I wouldn't mind trying it out anyway. I want you to succeed five times. Within a day, I wholeheartedly doubt I'm going to be able to do that, actually, but let's try it. My roguery skill is not exactly the most amazing. And uh, let me actually just see, how do we do it again? A guard is watching you. All right, so I have to click in the mouse wheel. Can we actually, what is, what's going on over there? It's the land of pink boxes. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. We don't need to look at that. Okay, weird um, weird graphical bug there for some reason. There we go. I picked his pocket. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Okay, I picked a guard's pocket. Probably not the best idea to do that, but I did. And now there are a bunch of other people around here. There we go. There we go. Already done with this person? No, no, we're not. We're not, though. We're not done with her. There we go. We did that. Apparently, there's no guards around here. And apparently, that fellow just couldn't be bothered to look out for the woman that he was with. And there we go. Look at this. 269 from that one. Whoa. Okay. She was running around with a, a treasure chest in her pocket or something like that. Not entirely sure what's going on there. But anyway. Yeah, this, uh, this is fun. This is a huge amount of fun. All right. Here we go. Uh, I think I've done five already, actually. So... Don't think I really need to do any more than that, but I, I kind of, I, I can't do the weaponsmith. The beggar, okay. Beggar, do you need something? What my man did was wrong, there's no denying, but they hanged him and now what am I to do? Do his children bear his guilt? The heavens repay kindness with kindness, my lord. Can I not give, can I not give any money? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, right. Uh, for some reason, I'm not able to give any money. I would have expected myself to be able to, but okay. That's kind of interesting. Can't actually pickpocket any of the traders, but that's fine. Can I pickpocket this guy? <laughs> the gang leader bodyguard. He has no idea what's going on. That is hilarious. Okay, yeah, well, I'm basically done with the larceny quest, and I don't really need to do more, do I? I don't think I need to do more, but this is actually a super, super fun way Oh, I failed to actually uh, do that one. But yeah, this is actually a really fun way to 
pass the time to, you know, just have fun basically doing stuff. I actually really like that. Okay, so we did increase our relation with Norina. Norina, as you can see, has 160 influence. She seems to be the... Well, I mean, they're both relatively similarly powered, so we don't really need to worry too much about that either way. Anyway, we're just going to continue recruiting looters here. And uh, should we go for uh, forced tribute? Maybe forced tribute, something like that? Yeah, let's do it. And yeah, I would like some help, actually, because I, uh, I, I still, I'm still a little bit, a little bit shaky. Still a little bit shaky. Let's have my uh, companion join the fray as well. I think that sounds like a pretty fun idea. So let's see what we can do. Now bear in mind, in the previous episode, I was actually using shark weapons. And as one of you pointed out, there is a, uh, a mace that I actually got in one of the tournaments as a reward. And I am very much looking forward to using that now because obviously that's a blunt weapon. And that's going to be super, super useful for us because we're going to be able to knock people unconscious. And hopefully from that, we'll be able to take more of them prisoner. And then we can actually, you know, start building up our army. But bear in mind, building up the army, it's all very well and good. But, you know, sometimes maybe you just want to stick around with a very small army just so you don't have to be you know, too noticeable, you know what I mean? You don't have to be too noticeable. Anyway, Norina actually has 40 relation with us now, so we should be able to do gang trial, potentially, and actually fight her in a one-on-one, -on -one. I think. That's how it worked, at least. That's how it used to work. And let me actually have a look here. Shield bashes, mm, one-handed weapons. I'm going to increase my one-handed weapon handling. I think that's probably going to be best in street fights and things like that. And while on foot, your weapon handling is increased by 10%. Probably going to be doing that as well. I just generally want to be able to have super fast attack speed. That's basically the, the best thing that I can go for here. So shall we go for the gang trial? Knows you well enough now and accepted the duel. The fight will start before dawn. All right. And we get to choose. I will choose an axe and a shield. Throwing knives. Throwing knives. Let's choose throwing knives because I do have thrown weapon. Uh, well, I, I have a little bit of little bit of skill in it. Nothing too amazing, but I should be able to do quite well with it, I think. And here we go. Now it is time to prove yourself. Let's go on in and see if we can do something here. Okay, so we have 12. I was actually hoping that there would be some kind of cover here. Unfortunately, she seems to be very good at throwing these, as you can quite clearly tell. Okay, there we go. Nice. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to have to switch. Oh, no. I can't believe she got a headshot on me right there. I cannot believe she got a headshot on me. All right, well, the gang trial is over, as you can quite clearly tell. Yeah, that... Okay, that didn't go according to plan. She was obviously much, much better at fighting than I was. You can see her stats right here, by the way. She literally has... What is it? 180 in one-handed. And how much in thrown weapons? She has 120 in thrown weapons. Okay, that kind of makes sense, right? Yeah, that kind of makes sense. I'm, oh, I am livid now. I am absolutely livid. Oh, well, never mind. Can't do much about that, unfortunately. And we're just going to have to try again next time. Bear in mind, I was 71% HP, so maybe that made a bit of a difference in how much I died. Maybe I should have just tried to strafe a little bit instead of going for cover around the, around the town. I was actually kind of hoping that there would be... I don't know, some kind of structure nearby to where I spawned. And that might have made a, a bit of a difference in how effective I was at fighting. Because obviously, as you could tell, as soon as I had some cover, I was actually able to do something much, much better than before. And I could basically just, you know, uh, take my time, get a little bit of cover, you know, use, use the wall as a natural barrier. And that made a huge difference. But unfortunately, in the beginning, we didn't really have that. So it was a bit... Bit unfortunate. Can I get some... Ooh. Can I get some hits? Oh, wow. We're getting really unlucky right here. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is not good.
All right, so Bruce gained a level. We're actually going to tell our forces to charge in now because I'd like to capture a couple of these. And if I can use my um, my mace, then that would actually be kind of useful. Unfortunately, I think that we might have some issues in general with this. Okay, nice, nice. We actually hit one and we actually knocked him unconscious. I don't think I'm... Oh, yes, 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 wonderful. Our medic friend actually did knock someone unconscious too. So we have two people that we can actually capture. I know, I know. It's gonna. It's a bit of a slow start. It's a bit of a slow start, but obviously you have to bear in mind this is all very, very kind of new to me because usually I'm recruiting from villages. I have some pretty high tier units at this point or I should have some kind of high tier units at this point. And uh, it's very, you know, it's very kind of risky. But most of the time that we're going in here, I'm thinking to myself, we're going to lose against random looters. So, you know, that's going to be um, that's going to be something that I'm going to be thinking about. Anyway, we're just going to sell a bunch of foodstuffs and things like that. Just going to get a little bit of grain right there as well. And let's do a scam. Might as well do a scam. Get a little bit of uh, roguery and charm skill. Obviously, trying to level these up is pretty useful here. And we're also going to be leveling up my one-handed weapon proficiency as well. Because let's face it, when we go into these street fights, we're going to need one-handed. We're going to need one-handed. That's just how it is. So hopefully, we'll be able to do something with that. Norina is, once again, uh, let's have a look. Um, you know her... Uh, yeah, let's just, uh, oh, s seven times. Okay, seven times in one day. All right, let's 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 try that. And as I've noticed now, there is the gang trial available once again. So I should be able to hopefully do that once more. Let's see if we can, God is watching you. What, this guy, really? Really? No way, no, he can't see where I am. Oh, okay, well, whatever the case. Doesn't really matter too much. Seven people in one day should be able to do that. You failed. Oh, no. That's terrible. Okay, well, there's five people here. I should be able to get all of them. Okay, no. I failed. There we go. All right, that's not too bad. We got how many? Four? Okay, so we need three more. And then we're done. I, I assume that it uh, automatically gives you the relation when you are successful. Oh, my criminal rating. Oh, look at that. You are drawing attention to yourself. Oh, no. Okay, I got some food. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I need one more. There we go. We did it. Okay. Whew. All right. So we did get some relation with her, which is obviously great. Um, and I'm just going to get out of there. You know, I'm just going to get out of there super, super fast. Just because I'm a bit worried about if I... What happens if I am actually discovered? What happens if I fail too much? I'm going to assume the guards are going to come after me, right? Something along those lines, right? Anyway... Yeah, let's be let's be a little bit careful with that. Anyway, we do have some more looters that can potentially join us right here. And I should probably be thinking about leveling up my leadership as well. Obviously, we do have one point in it already. So, you know, obviously it's going to be something that we'll want to do because we do need veterans respect. It's just at the moment, we don't really have any ability to, well do anything in regards to leadership so you know i can't call for a party can't call for an army can't call for any of that stuff i mean i can obviously call for a party but i can't make an army with it until i am uh, a vassal or until i am you know something else and that actually brings me to the next point i did say that i wasn't going to become a vassal but i'm thinking that maybe what i would do is i'd be a huge huge scoundrel and what I could do is I could become a vassal. I could swoop in, take something, and then just leave the kingdom. That kingdom would obviously very much not like me at all at that point. But we would we would have come away with a fief. And we would have also had the ability during the time that we were a vassal to level up our, um, our leadership skill. And in my opinion, that actually could be really, really useful for us. So I'm thinking about it. Not sure if it's really going to work out too well for us, but we'll see. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent decided on that just yet because obviously there are many different ways that you can play this. You can just go straight up and you don't have to you know you don't have to join any faction if you don't want to you know you don't have to do that or uh, or you can or you, you know you can just become a mercenary or whatever you, know, you can just decide whatever you want to do. So for me, I'm obviously not deciding on doing that just yet. But if I want to level up leadership, that is the easiest way to do it. Because then I can just make a companion, a party leader. And then I can just give them a whole bunch of units. And then it's going to be a lot easier for us in the 
in the long run. But there you go. We were actually able to win. Norina is impressed and has proposed for you to become partners. You can accept or show your authority and establish your gang in this town. The streets are mine. Do you want to establish your base in this town? Let's do it. There we go. Okay, so now, uh, as you can see, I'm going to need a roguery uh, companion. I'm also going to need another companion to be the enforcer here. I don't have any of that at the moment, so that's obviously going to be a bit of a problem. However, let's see what we can do. Uh, what we need to do is I actually need to level up. Uh, we can get. Can we get a worker here? How do we? Uh, how do we actually do the, Do any of this right now? I, I don't think I'm. I'm actually able to do anything just yet. Yeah, you can actually abandon the town if you want to, but obviously we're not going to do that right now. I can get weekly upgrades. But you can see here, this is just weekly costs. Obviously, this doesn't really make any sense right now because I just don't have any people to assign. So what I need to do is I need to find a couple of people that will actually end up joining me. So let's have a look. I need roguery people, right? Oh, this guy's a roguery fellow. Okay, let's try and get him. I'm just going to send a messenger. Oh, this guy's also a roguery fellow, so let's get him too. All right, that's absolutely perfect. Look at that. That was, that was remarkably fast. I actually thought that we were going to have some issues finding some some roguery, uh, roguery companions, but no, no, we're actually not doing too badly in that regard. Anyway, let's just take a quick look here. Defeated villagers and caravans give 5% more access to the inventory. Might be good. Notables of villagers give plus one extra troop. Yeah, I'm not recruiting from villagers, so we're going to go for know-how, and that should be, uh, hopefully that's going to be good. And otherwise, I'm just going to wait, there we go, for the messengers to arrive, and here we are. Hello there, sir. Oh, you're very cheap. Yeah, there we go. We don't even need to worry about their gear either, basically. We can pretty much just slap them right in to their, to their uh, individual assignments, and then it's just going to be nice and easy. So let's go into the main base here. The paymaster is going to be Mr. Cadfin here. And the enforcer will be Kataminos. Yes, Kataminos. And uh, there we go. All right. So now we can actually get smugglers. We can get a gambling den. We can get the boardy house and so on and so forth. And then we can actually upgrade all of these. So we can invest 20,000 in the gambling den. Let's do it. Why not? We've got 4,500 remaining. As you can see, my estimated income at the moment is 1,300, which is actually kind of amazing. Um, but there is a corruption impact, as you can see right there. And it's determined by the security level of the town where you have your main base. A high security level is not good for a criminal business. So, how do we actually change that? How much you pay to the local authorities. The highest level will decrease your criminal rating. The others will increase it. Okay, pay, pay low. Pay low and the corruption impact. There we go, there we go. So we're paying low, as you can see right there. So we're paying 410 due to the authorities and oh this guy actually needs tactic skill as well okay that's good to know so what i'm actually going to do is i'll try to at some point i will come back and i'll try and see if i can maybe level up his tactics maybe he's going to level up tactics in the in the meantime or something like that and i also need clan tier 2 for the scheme room but obviously i wasn't really uh yeah i wasn't really that good at using the scheme room the last time that i used this mod so we're gonna have to do something about that. All right, so there we go. Gambling Den's looking pretty good. Weekly upgrades, doesn't really matter about that. And I could set this to zero, but obviously, yeah, my corruption, my criminal rating, shall we say, is going to be increased rather significantly. So we're going to have to be a bit aware of that. Oh, who's this? Is this another, is this another roguery companion? No, it is a tactics person. All right, it is a tactics person. Not really that big a fan about that. All right, so let's actually just take a quick look and see if we can find some other roguery people because you never know. Maybe it's actually going to be kind of useful to have some of them in... Oh, hello, in reserve. This guy has 101. Wow, he's looking real good. Okay, let's see if we can find any others, actually. Oh, this guy's got 142. Are you serious? Wow, that's actually incredible. Wouldn't have expected that in a million years. This guy's got 62, so we're just going to try and get him as well. Actually, you know what? How many spaces do I have in terms of our companions? Because that might be a bit of a problem in itself. I have already the maximum amount. Oh, well, uh, that's kind of unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah, I might have to do something about that because otherwise we're not going to be able to expand our businesses and everything, and it's going to be very, very sad indeed. Oh, well. 
Uh, yeah, we can't really do much about that. Let's just go over to Caban Seth for the moment. There is a tournament running here, which would probably be a nice thing for me to do. So let me just go straight on in. Who, who do we have? Oh, it's a broadsword. Okay, broadsword is actually pretty good reward. Shouldn't have too many difficulties winning this, or at least I hope so. Doesn't seem like there are too many lords available here. And I'm just going to try and assist this fellow. Nice. Nice double hit on that guy. And this guy's almost dead. Yep, there we go. He was finished off by our ranged characters. And this fellow is easily going to be murdered. There we are. Very nice. Easy enough. And then we can just move on. Okay, so this is the fun thing about actually doing Batanian tournaments as well. Batanian tournaments are really, really good for a variety of reasons. The fact that we have the ability to use a two-handed almost all the time. And if not a two-handed, then they're going to give you throwing weapons and things like that. And obviously, we're pretty good with throwing weapons or at least my character is okay with using them and uh you know that's that's kind of nice anyway let's just see if i can maybe achieve something here just try and assist my my friend here to survive that's pretty much all i want him to do and there we have it okay i think we're probably going to be fine but this guy does have some good armor so we should be a little bit careful about that I'm gonna hide behind the tree this time there we go Okay, he's not going to be able to do anything there. And he actually would have swung through, I think. Maybe he would have swung through the tree. I'm actually not entirely sure on that because it seemed like he was actually going to hit me because you heard the little clank there. I don't know whether you heard the little clank of our blades meeting in that melee there. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but there you go. Aha, we've actually increased our clan rank, which is really nice because that means that we'll actually increase the amount of companions that we have. I think someone actually mentioned that there might even be a mod that can increase your companion limit so maybe we're going to have to do something with that um, not entirely sure just yet but anyway let's just do a little bit of a scam here while we can uh, we can also do some larceny if we want to and you can see here i want to prove my skills i'm tough and can win any fight let's do this all right what's this uh maybe you could start a brawl in the tavern and win the fight by hands only all right let's try it out that sounds pretty fun right that sounds pretty fun okay so let's uh Let's visit the tavern and uh, see what happens here. All right. Uh, how do I start a fight? How do I actually start a fight? There we go. You faint, losing your balance. I don't like your face and you better get out of my way. Come here. I'm ready. Yeah. Let, uh, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, my, my, my friend actually is allowed to use weapons. That's hilarious. Um, did, I, did, I actually, did I actually complete that? Yeah, I think I actually completed that. That is hilarious. Okay, I was not expecting that for one one moment, but okay. That is perfectly fine with me then, I guess. Okay, so let's do this. And can I manage it by myself? Mm, probably not. I, I, I think I'm still a little bit... Yeah, I'm a little bit antsy about that. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to really win these kinds of engagements at the moment. Maybe if I have a little bit more... A little bit more experience actually doing these kinds of things. And also maybe equip myself with some throwing daggers. Some throwing daggers could be really, really useful for us. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, there's only three enemies. Hmm. I might have actually been able to win against these guys. They don't seem that strong. Ow, he says as he gets murdered. Okay, there we go. That is actually a mercenary cavalry right there. Okay, yeah, they're pr they're looking pretty strong. They're looking pretty strong, actually. Anyway, we got some really, really decent renown for that as well, so that's pretty nice. Notable extortion we could also do. We are getting uh, influence with the 200 influence power of Red Eye Moira at the moment, which is actually really good in comparison to Boss Gwenin. So I'm actually really pleased with this, and I'm thinking that maybe what we're going to do is maybe we'll go into the waterfront. As you can see, look at this. We earned 915, uh, 915 gold and 1,000 from our territories, which is actually super nice. And bear in mind, my criminal rating is now going to be increasing. So we might have to be a little bit careful and try to balance that out a little bit. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, well, notable extortion. Let's have a look. Always late with their payments. You may keep any dinars that the notables give you. All right, so we need to go over here to this village. And we have a messenger coming to one of our companions here. And we're just going to get him because you never know. Maybe you're going to need him at some point. This guy is also absolutely fantastic. I would love... 
Ah, yeah. Okay, I actually thought that maybe I'd be able to go above it because I do receive a message at the beginning when I load up the game and it says ignoring companion limit. So I was actually hoping that maybe it would just ignore the limit, but no, it unfortunately does not. So yeah, we, we just have to do it the old fashioned way, I suppose, and, and just see what we can do. Maybe I can change it with Chaos's tweaks or maybe I need another mod to make that work. But um, we'll, we'll see what we can do with that. Obviously, I'm not wanting to use these companions to become super overpowered, but it would be nice if we wouldn't have a limit, considering these guys basically just perform very passive roles, and they're not actually something, you know, making us overpowered or anything like that. Anyway, here we go. A friend of yours uh, told me about this, and we're just going to say, uh, pay me the full amount, and we're done. There we go. 2100 and then we are perfectly fine great and we've actually increased our relation with red eye moira as well i'd actually like to have her as an ally this time around i think that might be quite fun there's a robbery going on what's this has a friend in Rovolt that needs some hmm not sure if i really want to do that that is a uh that is a quest that we need to travel pretty far for because as you can see Rovolt is where is that actually that's not even on my screen, right? Oh, no, there it is. There it is. It's all the way over there. Yeah, that is a little bit far for my liking. That is a little bit far. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to the waterfront here because I'd like I'd like to potentially attack the enemy gang leader. Let's see if we can actually make that work. And one thing that I actually have noticed now is that my weapon is a little bit too short. I think I need to have a longer weapon when dealing with these kinds of, uh, these kinds of enemies. So, Waterfront is where I'm actually going to go. Yes, Waterfront is where I'm going to go. So, we're just going to go over this way. And where where is it? No, that's the clearing. Is this the Waterfront right here? No, this is the arena. Where Where is the Waterfront actually? Ah, there it is. It's just right around here. Okay, perfect. And I do need to get some throwing knives. So, I will try to get that as well. Hello, Mr. Thug. Uh, yeah, uh, should, uh, I, I don't take orders from the like of you. Yeah, there we go. And let's try and take him down. Obviously, the speed of this weapon is actually pretty good. Um, that's the main reason why I actually decided to get it initially. But the length of it is quite a disadvantage. Because when you're up against enemies that also have longer weapons, they're going to outrange you almost all the time. So if you're trying to get into range and they're about to swing, it's going to be very difficult. So I'm not sure whether we're going to be able to do something with that. Maybe I'm going to need to replace it or something. Anyway, I'm ready for more. Here we go. Let's do this. Okay, so we actually do have a decent-ish party here. We outnumber them one, you know, one more than, than we would normally have. And we do have some, uh, well, we have some terrible people, to be honest. I mean, we have looters, basically. Uh, so that's not looking particularly good. All right, well, the, the best thing that I can do, I think, is probably get my forces to come over here. And maybe... Just maybe we can form some kind of... Oh, no, this is not going to work. Oh, I was actually hopeful hopeful to get them over here, to be honest. Okay, we've already... Oh, we've already kind of uh, evened things up quite nicely, to be honest. That's really nice. Okay, there we go. Yes, okay. Uh, I was actually really surprised. What? My looters? My looters actually saved the day. What? How did that happen? I have no idea. I have no idea how that happened, but there we go. We actually do gain insane amounts of really good stuff, actually. We've got some jewelry right here, which I can sell at Dunglanis for a really nice profit. And we also have some velvet here that I can sell at Kuyas for over 1,000. But obviously, you've got to bear in mind, Kuyas is really far away. So I think I'll probably sell it at Dunglanis because it is really close. So that's probably what we'll do. I am over encumbered though, so that is a little bit unfortunate. Anyway, you've defeated the thugs that were guarding the alley, and we've now gained a level. We've also gained a massive amount of relation with Red Eye Moira, which is absolutely perfect. And we're almost at 40, so we can do the gang trial, and then we can become an ally with her. And we'll see what happens after that, because obviously I don't have the ability to uh, put two, uh, two NPCs in there. I only have one. Uh, slot available which is really sad to be honest i think that is really sad anyway let's just go over here we're just going to sell our velvet and our jewelry fur linen all that stuff 
for 900. That's actually not even bad. That's okay, you know. It's not amazing, but I think it's pretty good. Anyway, I think what we're actually going to do is, as I said before, I think it would probably be a good idea for me to uh, just upgrade our upgrade ourselves here. And yeah, I think that's I think that's fine. Uh, Darim actually needs some up upgrades as well. Obviously, if he's going to be coming with us, then he probably needs to get upgraded a little bit. As you can see, this particular sword, it's not looking particularly good in terms of damage, but look at its length. Its length is actually kind of crazy. It's got 116, which is amazing, to be honest. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we just want to do that. Oh, this is a really nice one. But it has very low damage. That's the problem here. It has very low damage. So let me actually just have a look. Is there anything here that I can actually buy? No, no. It's all looking pretty terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. We could try this out. Yep. We could try that out. Why not? Let's try it out and see what happens. Um, let's just go over here. We've got all this. Okay, what about thrown weapons? Do we have any throwing knives available? Yes, they do have throwing knives available. Okay, this is great. So let's have a look. Mm, mm, yeah, uh, are they all basically the same? Yeah, they're all basically the same. These have the most damage. Yeah, these have the most damage. So I guess I will just go with these. Uh, how many should I buy? I guess just buy all of them, right? There we go. I guess that seems pretty decent. Yeah, I think that's that's all right. Okay, so let's go to the main base real quick. Uh, can I invest some more? Yeah, I can actually. Let's invest some more here. Okay, this guy's got some tactics now, which is actually kind of nice. Can I actually increase my comfort level? I can't increase the comfort level in the gambling den for some reason. So that's actually kind of sad. I was actually hoping that we'd be maybe able to increase our profit a little bit more. But uh, no, it doesn't seem like that is going to be the case. I could do something else though. For example, I could invest in the boardy house. And you can see here, open a place of pleasure. Profit is based on the main base and town prosperity. There we go. So, yeah, I, oh, uh, that's actually 30,000. All right, so I can't do that. What about smuggling? Start a smuggling business. There we go. We're actually getting a little bit more money from that. Uh, okay, so we can't actually increase these things right now because we're going to have to get available upgrades, as you can see. We're going to have to get more, uh, more money from that, I suppose. Technically, we could do this, but that is obviously going to reduce the amount of money that I make which is pretty, mm, might be, might be kind of harsh. This is the town network, obviously, as well. All right, so yeah, that's looking pretty decent, in my opinion. That is looking pretty decent. Let me actually just go straight on. Oh, wait a minute. We've got some looters here. I, I don't know whether we should really fight the looters, to be honest, because at the end of the day, it's going to be very difficult for me to actually win against even looters while trying to take them prisoner with my mace. It's it's going to be very difficult to do that. Anyway, let's just do a scam. And then we might do some larceny, one of the other tasks or something like that for larceny. So let's have a look. I want to prove my skills. Uh, I don't fear the authority and I run fast as well. Let's try... I can be a persuasive messenger. Oh, okay. That's new. Uh, I can be a persuasive messenger. I have a problem with the blacksmith. I paid a decent amount for a fine blade and it is already completely dull and rusty. Get my money back. I'll give you part of that amount as a paycheck. All right, let's try it. Okay, so where's the blacksmith? Is this the guy? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to assume this is the guy, right? Or not, as the case may be. Maybe he's actually in the, uh, in the town itself. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait until daytime, and then we're just going to go straight on into the town center and see where the blacksmith is, because then we can potentially threaten him or whatever it is. Is that the blacksmith? Yeah, there we go. There's the blacksmith right there. So let me see if I can just go all the way. Oh, so nice and easy, isn't it? Okay, so here's the... Uh, there's the blacksmith right there. And we're just going to be speaking to him if I... <laughs> if I go the right way, actually. Yes, if I go the right way, that might that might help, you know. Hello there, sir. Grab something and run. Okay, no, we're not going to... Well, I mean, actually, I could grab something. You know, I'm just going to say, it looks like you're trying to mess with the wrong person. All right, so let's have a look-see here. I can't believe that gang leader sent me a messenger. What a coward. And what do you plan to do then? He says. All right, so in fact, I want to maintain a good level of relationship in this city. How about paying half back? I take care of the other half. Hmm. That might actually be pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, that might actually be the best thing for me to do. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? You know what? We're actually going to do that because 
It's only a thousand, right? It's only a thousand, but it seems like a no-brainer because I'm just paying money for relation with basically every single person in the town and I don't get any criminal rate increases. And you've got to bear in mind that my criminal rate is increasing due to my corruption being very low at the moment or my contribution to lower the corruption being low. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Why not? Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so unfortunately we didn't get a huge amount of relation with Red Eye Moira. I was actually hoping to get a little bit more than that, but oh well, never mind. What about a grand heist? We could do the grand heist, but let me actually just wait here for a little bit of time. I am trying to get three more relation with her, if at all possible. And uh, yes, hopefully we're going to be able to do that with the grand heist. What's this? Ooh, hello. Okay, 8,000 dinars. All right, let's try it. I've, uh, okay, wait, 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 what's this, what's this? If you need more support, you need 2,600. Y yeah, 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 I, I think I'm okay to get some support. Why not? You know, you never know. Maybe there's going to be something that we'll, uh, we'll actually need assistance with, you know, like, for example, fighting 20 enemies or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, I'm just going to take these two along with me, even though they do have a little bit of injury. But, uh, yeah, okay, here we go. Uh, I don't see any enemies right now, as you can see, but I am hearing the combat music, so I'm going to assume that we are... we are going to be fighting, or we're going to get engaged in a conversation or something like that. Okay, well, we've got a bunch of people here. Okay, I'm, I'm still not seeing... Ah, hello. Do I... Can I use my throwing knives against these guys already? Yeah, I think I can. Yeah, I, I definitely can. Okay, that's nice. Okay, he's dead. Okay, oh wow. Okay, there's a lot of people right here. But this is fine. This is fine. All right. Yeah, this is okay. <laughs> it's just like that. It's just, it's just like that meme with it, with that dog sitting in the, the fiery, fiery house. Feels like that at least. Okay, no, don't die. Don't die. Oh no, don't die. No, no, don't die. Come on. Now. Yes. Yes, there we are. Okay, we're actually we actually lived. Can you believe it? Whew. That was a that was a bit worrying there for a second, but thankfully we were able to achieve victory. Four point two renown. We're actually getting pretty significant renown right here. And there you go, eight thousand eight hundred gold. Criminal raising has increased, of course. And did we? Yes, we got a lot of relation with her. That's wonderful. So we can now do the gang trial. Unfortunately, it is a little bit too early for me. So. I'm going to need to wait a little bit of time before we are able to do something with it. Anyway, throwing skill, athletics, we could do any of these. We do need to level up leadership. I, I do realize that. But uh, as it is right now, as I said to you before, we just do not have a way to actually capitalize off that. So that's the main problem. I would like to do smithing. So probably going to do that. And then we'll do another point in vigor just so that I can continue to level up my one-handed and my various other combat skills relatively well. Obviously, you just got to be, be bearing in mind here, we're not going to have a lot of opportunity to level up our combat skills unless we go into an actual battle. Those are the things that we're going to have to do. Anyway, gang trial. Let's try... Uh, should, we, should we try daggers? Let's try daggers. That sounds pretty fun. I'm basically just trying to get a handle on pretty much every single um, every single way of fighting here. Okay. Whoa, she is a beast. Okay. Should have probably gone for axes. Yeah, I can't really do much against that. I cannot do much against that. That is way too fast. As you can see, she has, yeah, she has 180 in one-handed weapon proficiency. I have 48. So there is definite, definite room for improvement there. I'm going to need to put more focus points in one-handed, I think, and maybe do a couple of extra, 
a couple of extra fights or something like that. But there you go. Look at that. We're actually earning 1900 from our criminal businesses right now, which is really, really nice. I think I might actually have to head back to Dunglanis and actually start to reduce my corruption here because I don't really want everyone to declare war on me just yet because generally if you are having a really high criminal rating that can happen and so I'm I'm kind of wanting to be a little bit uh let's do let's do one week with high oh we're still getting decent profit I'm still getting decent profit from this oh that's actually hilarious okay uh can I actually speak to this guy because I'd like to see if I can level uh, level his tactics. Or maybe he's leveled up or something like that. Let me actually just take a quick look at the rest of our forces here. Yeah, look at look at, um, look at Darim. He has insane polearm skill. What a crazy guy. Everyone else is looking particularly... Oh, uh, can I actually speak? To... Oh, yeah, look at that. I can actually um, assign their points whether I am uh, having them in my party or not. That's really nice. I think that... Is that party screen enhancements doing that, actually? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, we do have a tournament available here, which would actually be really nice because... The more money we have, the better, you know. That's that's what that's what we're going to try to do at least. And obviously, once we get the ability to have even more, um, even more people available, and I'm talking about, you know, obviously, you know, increasing our um, companion limit, it's going to make a huge difference overall. Anyway, let me see. Ah, oh, it's still a full bet. That's really nice. Okay, so this is a huge free for all here. Two versus two versus two, and let me see. Oh my, are you serious? All right, not too bad. Oh, unfortunate. Ah, ha, ha, hello. All right, this is bad. Okay, not too bad. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is bad. Oh, not too bad. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly, exactly. I mean, that's the thing. I'm pretty injured right now. I'm basically doing every single one of these tournaments very, very badly injured. Urgeon is just murdering everyone. Um, is there a way that you guys can actually fight each other and not me? Oh, yeah, that is actually happening. Okay, wonderful. Oh, that was... Oh, what a bandit thing to do. What a bandit, criminal, scoundrel thing to do. Look at that. Just coming up from behind the guy. He's injured. I just take one slash at him and he's dead. Oh, yes. That is what we like to see. All right, let me see if I can do something here. Gotta be careful. All right, not too bad. Whew. Uh, it's always a bit, you know... It's always a bit problematic. Oh, Ragnar himself? Are you serious? Ragnar himself? Okay, yeah, well, this this might be... Oh, he was going for a thrust. He was going for a thrust. That was actually really smart of him, because if he, if he had actually connected with that thrust, probably would have killed me instantly. So, yeah. Very, very important that uh, he did that. Uh, that shows that he is a very renowned warrior indeed. Anyway, we do have a horse, which is actually really nice. This horse, unfortunately, is... Oh, actually, wait a minute. It is actually going to sell for a pretty decent amount. So I think I'm actually just going to sell it straight away. Why not, you know? All right, so I think it's about time for us to do another gang trial. I am still injured, do bear that in mind. But we're going to go for the axe and shield this time once again, because it feels to me like the knife is just too fast for me you know it's just too fast she is gonna swing it like I, I don't know at light speed basically and i'm just gonna be struggling to catch up pretty much the whole time so hopefully this is going to be a little bit better for us hopefully i'm going to be able to deal more damage with it as well because i don't know whether you noticed but dealing damage with the knife was actually a bit difficult considering she has decent ish gear on and i don't have particularly good gear Hilariously enough, I should probably see about getting some better gear. And that brings me to the next point. When are we going to get the armory? When are we going to get armory crafting in the game? Because obviously we have weapons, you know, we have the ability to create weapons. But when can we create armor? I would love to be able to do that. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to basically make her our partner now because I don't actually have the ability to install two companions here and so we're just going to say relation is important there we go we are doing great here but i'd like to expand our enterprise a little do you have any connections in other towns that would be interested recommendation allows a plus 10 relation bonus with a gang leader of your choice in another town that is actually really good 
I know some people here and there. You should mention our good relation, and I'm pretty sure it will make things easier for you. And don't forget, we are partners now. All right, yes, there we go. Okay, so that's great. And um, yeah, that's that's great. All right, wonderful. So now we are indeed a partner of hers, and I am actually not sure what that means. What does that actually mean? I don't know. I suppose we'll see when the week rolls around. Maybe we're going to get a little bit of money from her or something like that. Maybe a little bit of, um, you know, kind of, I, I think it would kind of make sense if we got some money for her. Yeah, there we go. Partnership. So, yeah, as you can see, we have a partnership. She does provide us with 315 gold. And bear in mind, this is obviously very much reduced in comparison to running our own territory. So if you want to make the most money possible, then obviously you want to make sure you have as many territories under your belt as you can. But you then have to take on the risk at the same time. So I suppose that's the main reason why there might be a companion limit. I don't know. I mean, generally, you know, technically, if I didn't have a Yagada here, if I didn't have our medic companion, I could technically make it so that we had two roguery companions. That might actually make sense. Anyway, I actually need to make her my, my surgeon as well. I actually forgot to do that this whole time because I am an idiot. So, you know, don't worry about that. Anyway, uh, no one else is looking particularly good in comparison to all of these things. So, yeah, uh, hopefully it's going to be good that she's now our surgeon because let's face it, you know, we kind of needed that, didn't we? We kind of needed that. Anyway, let me see if I can actually buy some heart. Ooh, yes, yes. Hello there. All right, we're moving really, really slow right now, but that's absolutely fine because we're just going to go into the smithy right here and we're just going to do a little bit of smithing. If you don't like smithing, that's absolutely fine, but I do have something that I want to show you. I actually wanted to show you this in the Eagle Rising series, but I never got around to it because we had technical problems crop up before anything like that was actually possible, which is really, really sad. Anyway, we're just going to be spamming this as much as we possibly can. We're just going to get to 25. There we go. And then we're just going to be specking our perk into the charcoal thing that gives us additional charcoal, of course. Efficient charcoal maker is what we want to do. We also got a perk in roguery and two-handed, which is actually really nice. And we're going to go for swing speed with two-handed swords. Inevitably, we're going to create a, a sword in the end, obviously. Two-handed sword or something like that, or... I don't know, because we're going to be mostly fighting in the streets. So fight, fighting with a one-handed sword that we've made ourselves might be kind of fun, right? Anyway, 20% better deals with Ransom Broker for regular troops. Increase prisoner limit by 20%. Or bandit units in your party consume 50% less food. Bandit prisoners can be recruited to the party 30% faster. In my opinion, this is a no-brainer. We're going to have to take this one, right? I mean, that sounds, sounds really good. I mean, I don't really care too much about the 50% less food thing. But bandit prisoners being recruited 30% faster, that just sounds amazing. So that's what we're going to do there. And we can do a scam here as well. And bear in mind, every single time we do a scam, we actually do increase our relation with Red Eye Moira as well, which is pretty funny. And we also have the ability to do larceny and all that other stuff still. So even if, you know, even if we just want to do these things, then we can just create relation with, with her and then just move on from there. And it's actually pretty cool. Anyway, let's just do this. There we go. I have no more hardwood. Then we can smelt some stuff if we want to. And I think I will smelt everything. I don't think I need any of this stuff any further. So we're just going to smelt all of it. There we go. And then we can otherwise just create things. All right. So two-handed swords. Yeah, I basically only have two-handed swords to make here. And I don't have any parts whatsoever. So it's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? Yeah, well, maybe it is. Yeah, maybe it is. I mean, we can... Just do a little bit of those, and then we can just smelt these. And then we can just create the same thing again. There we go. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Nothing too nothing too strenuous for us right now. And as long as we have enough charcoal, that's all we really need. Although, to be fair, I've now run out of things that I actually need, so... <laughs> uh, that's always a classic, isn't it? Anyway, there we go. We smelted all of that. We're actually starting to get additional parts now, but I'm still going to just continue spamming the same thing. And we're just going to continue getting things right there. Let's just change the blade up a little bit. There we go. And we can just do this. And then we can maybe change a couple of other things about this. I'd actually like to reduce the amount of metal we're using on that one part, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. No, it just increases the, the, the metal cost, which is very sad. 
Oh well, never mind. I can't really do much about that. And we don't have any more charcoal anyway. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to move on with that. Anyway, we do have this. I'm going to go for Curious Smelter. Obviously, Curious Smelter is just way too good for us to do. And uh, that's going to enable us to get even more designs unlocked faster. And that's obviously fantastic. There are two hardwood. What? Two hardwood right here next to each other? Two hardwood villages? That is actually kind of incredible. All right, so yeah, I am probably just going to be purchasing a huge amount of hardwood here. And uh, unfortunately, I just don't have enough carry weight at the moment. I think I might need to buy some mules and things like that. I mean, I have a pretty decent amount of cash as it is right now, so I should be able to afford it without too many difficulties. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Let's just go into the trade screen real fast. Do I actually have any? Wow. We, we barely have any, to be honest. Okay, yeah, we're just going to spend a little bit here just to get some horses, but they're not any good at all. They are really not very good. They're just terrible. Uh, we're just going to replace my horse. And Darim can obviously use a better horse. Uh, Yagada is actually a riding person or no? No, she is not a riding person. So we're just going to lock that slot for her. And then otherwise we're just going to sell all the loot. All right. So now we can go back into the smithy and we can actually just refine a little bit more charcoal here. There we go. And then, well, I, I basically don't have any of this, unfortunately. I could technically, wait a minute, we could technically do something here. Yeah, here we go. We can actually do this, which might actually make sense. And we can actually, ah, oh, this is one-handed swords, actually. Let's not, let's not do that. And pole arms, no, we don't want to do that. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Six? Mm, not really looking for the six, please. I'm looking for the four. Thank you very much. There we go. That's a little bit better for us. Uh, oh, three even, but that actually uses some wood. Okay, yeah, that's not going to work. All right, something like this is probably going to be good. We can just create a whole bunch. Nothing too dramatic and nice. That actually worked out really, really well. And we can just do the same thing again. And we can just do this over and over again just to get as much skill as possible and as many parts unlocked at the same time, which is actually really amazing. Unfortunately, we just don't have enough as it is. So it is going to take us eh, increasingly amounts of time and resources to be able to do these things. You know, it's not going to be working out too well for us in the end. But there you go. That is it done. I'm almost at 75 smithing, which is actually quite good, I guess. It's not too bad. And otherwise, we should probably head on to Pencanok. That will be our next town that we're going to try and uh, quote unquote conquer because technically we're not conquering it at the moment. And uh, yeah, as you can see, because of my high corruption rating at the moment, or my high setting, in, in other words, I'm giving a lot of money to the authorities in which to, you know, turn the other way. They don't, you know, they don't have to bother with us right now. Then my criminal rating is going to go down. And inevitably, I should be I should be looking pretty good. So as you can see, my criminal rating at the moment is 13. It used to be 26 or something like that. So it's gone down by 50%, which is actually pretty amazing. So let's actually just have a quick look at who is... Ooh, this guy's super powerful. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to hopefully get on this guy's good side, or at least I hope so. This other fellow actually has... He owns everything. Are you serious? He owns all of it? Okay, that's actually kind of... Um, that's a bit scary, to be honest. We are actually getting, yeah, yeah, okay, so that's going to be a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Because this fellow owns all of the territory in this particular town, so we're going to have to do something about that. But otherwise, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.